Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k. My name is Ike and today we're continuing the 40k uh, blind playthrough on legendary difficulty with a little bit of Grandmaster mode enabled. So, uh, I cannot win this mission, or I can but I don't want to, without passive war gear. Instead we're just getting one requisition. We're still doing fine. I don't know why the requisition uh, seems... Uh, seems to not go down. I thought I've spent, although we got four the last time we were at 14, 16. Yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it is fine. This time we're getting two, so it's up to 12. Um, I am wondering what uh, should we do here? We definitely want the Gate of Infinity because the spreader is a bit of a difficult event and having multiple teleports will make our life exponentially easier although the minus one ap really come in hard the purification and the healing is sort of required just to stay uh, well healed and alive so we got Epi with a really nice blade. Uh, the Halberd here is fantastic. However, we can't upgrade it yet to even more damage. Lacking the seeds, and that's why we're here. We want more seeds. Uh, we got a nice uh, damaging side gun, plus I think uh, the extractor skull. Yep. Yeah. Then two times grenades on zero chance, plus a nice anti-demon weapon, and auto fire bolter with five ammo, and a halo skull for us to prevent damage. So that's as good as it gets, really. Um, need to upgrade his armor so that we get another equipment equipment slot. But for now, we're doing fine. I'm actually quite happy. We're getting a couple of really good items. The crack grenades that we got the last time, uh, they will come in handy. Five armor break is nothing to scoff at. Target's location reached. However, Vox communication patterns suggest normalcy. Lies and trickery. Whatever cult is here, it's been overwhelmingly successful. We will purge the planet if we must, but first the bloom spawn must be cut at its roots before its seeds spread any further. All right. Well, we got plenty, plenty of enemies. We got a bloom spawn here. We got more bloom spawn there. We got yet more bloom spawn there. And we got the mass spreader back uh, there. I'm not sure if we have enough uh, sustain power to do everything. My blade is yours. But I think we're okay. Yes, sir. Ready to serve. Praise the Emperor. At your command. Good. Moving up. We're kicking in the door Storm. in a second. On the way. What is your will? Yes, Commander. Your orders. The one with the shortest range should go first. And that's what, exactly what we're doing. Cultists for once. I like it. Plenty thereof. Prepare to engage. Oh, what a nice coincidence. I like it. Give me the seeds. Another seed. Oh, yeah, indeed. Well, that is two seeds just for free. I've claimed a seed. 
out of curiosity, like, if we're doing this... Oh my lord. Well, that's a good amount of damage. Praise the Emperor. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is some really good damage as well. Here. It will be done. Nice little crack grenade. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Massive grenade range. Blessed power arms. <laughs> How could I not use a grenade in this circumstance? certainly are the hammer man Here. This and that's one. Uh, I want the support file on this guy, to be fair. Ready to serve. Fabulous. I sir. For the Imperium. But this guy does have a machine gun. And this guy does have a machine gun. Could completely kill one, but I think the smarter choice is... Yeah, well, I could still kill one. Okay, and over here. No. Good. Glory You get just wait. Even 
So that would be two. What is your will? There is another bloom spawn over there. And my will is to go and cleanse there that. Is corruption brooding here. Because it gives us more seats, more experience, and I think we can overall do it. Uh, that first room was way easier than I anticipated. Four strike, and that will give us three. Three AP. We're teleporting. And I'm moving all the way over here. My blade is yours. Volatama. So it moves to here. I am here to serve. Moves to here. I am here to serve my way. Moves to here. And At your command. Starting a new combat round. Praise the Emperor. Extra seats, cool. Moves up and removes uh, the armor. I think we're going to be fine. <clears throat> Unleash me. I am here to serve. At once. All right, moves up. I'll go. Moves up. Standing ready. And moves up. Our Titan! Lots of support fire. Death to the enemy! Extra seats, this time the purple ones. At your command. The Emperor lights our path. We strive. Zebes. Good, we're still quote unquote abusing that um, action point uh, round and we're still in that uh, next or same round look at you did you just move into us what do we have here Okay, that was a relatively harmless knockback. Lucky you, because if you would have dealt damage, I would have been pissed. I pulled a seed from this rot. What is your will? Our Titan! Oh, I think I should do disrupting shot. Yes, Commander. Since we already have had the My two, um, the uh, the two support fires in this round, no further one is happening. I'm 
much is a damage shot that we are having? That's nine points of damage, yeah, so it doesn't make sense for us to sanctify kill zone this uh, thing. Instead, disrupt so that the autos are not happening. Well, apparently you cannot disrupt him that well. What we can do though is make him vulnerable this way. Armor. I am here to serve. Back, fiend. Good hits. I serve. Continuing with very strong hits here. Yeah. Good. Let's hit him. Hit him very good. Unleash me. Praise the Emperor. Another hit. And two more hits and this guy will go down. Letting us stay in the exact same round. Spawn is over there. Fair enough. Might come in from here. Moving now. That didn't take a genius to consider that there would be another pack. I tell you what, now is a very, very good time for game infinity. Let's not try to get these guys. Standing ready. Okay, do we want to trigger or not? Good question. Uh, I really don't want to trigger that extra pack. If we can move everybody in, uh, I think that would be a welcome choice, even though we don't have support fire. But we have a lot of uh, pillars here. Wow, what is that? Whatever it is, it just destroys the pillars themselves. Prepare to engage. I don't know if we want to prepare to engage here, my dude. Uh, that looks sweeping tail and sets the zone uh, at range. Targeting in that zone will be bashed away and bleed too. Um, yeah, not good. Nurgle Wardog, 16 armor. This unit is immune to armor peers. Which means you need to go through the armor. Uh, Multi-missile launcher. With armor break himself. 
Oh wow, we want to definitely destroy this uh, fellow. Where is our crack grenade when we need it the most? Take that holy hand grenade. Alright, shall we do another... That one is a frag grenade. I think we're going with another crack grenade. Good, that thing just lost all of its 20 armor in one little bit. Okay, still has 30 hit points, but uh, we're going to go through that bit by bit as well. I think Traced, disable demon spear, weakened. Uh, hmm. Four starters. Let's not uh, forget about that multi missile launcher. We don't like it. Okay, cool. Give me the seat. I claim the seed. I will keep the last extractor skull for whenever we need it. What is your will? Moves up. The holiest of hand grenades. That thing is massive. You will hear. Destroyed, Commander. My blade is yours. Yes, sir. Good hits. One. Two. Almost done. Big juicy target. Glory to Zykos. That will remove his cover. Not sure that we can kill it. I think we're just using the safe and secure Halo school. That's okay. Because that way we. Uh, Today we shall be tested. Position. I was about to say that way we don't need to deal with uh, his. 
stupid plague cannon. They do a full armor pierce, <coughs> armor piercing. Yes, Commander. Good, give me that sweet, sweet yellow seed. Thank you. I pulled a seed from this rot. Your orders? I am his will. Alright, the holiest of hand grenades. It still hits all of these guys. Coming to this guy in a second. First of all, we need to take care of the Chaos Space Marine up here. Good, perfect Kayla. Oh, fantastic, that's good. Because uh, that means we're only needing to take care of this guy. Unleash me! some extra war points we're uh, cutting it short Bolter ammo on this one, that is not clever. There you go, that's how we do it. To serve. 
Good support fire. I up there I would yeah! definitely want to do some psychic onslaught. Which happens with the next shot. And now that is a double kill. Reload required. I am here to sell. Fantastic. We're reloading. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Aye, sir. And this should extract seeds. Another battle ends in triumph. Well, well, well. We got room spawn up there. Yes, Commander. At once. I tell you something. What is this? <clears throat> the next situation where this here is necessary. Just uh, immediately gone into the next fight. <clears throat> Good, more blooms, uh, bloom there, that's good. We don't only have uh, frag grenades, but we have plenty of frag grenades left. Well, plenty is maybe an command. overstatement, we have three frag grenades left. Hit. We're still in the same round, so Taste support fire is fury. not working. Interceptor moves up, hits. Takes a seat. I am here to serve. We're killing this tree. That ends the burn. Oh, gives us back AP. We're not yet at an epidemic level. So no extra warp surge is happening, which means I'll just wait that round so that we get support far back. But we're already moving up, so the next turn we can give it a go. Praise the Emperor. And we are at the bloom spreader, so we're actually doing very well for ourselves so far. Can we gateway somewhere in here? No, we cannot. Unleash me. But we can carefully move forward and this might not trigger. Dead wrong, of course it is triggering. Good. 
good. That costed us quite a bit, but I think overall it was worth it. This one will fall! All of, our, uh, all of our guys are burning for no reason. Well, I, it is for a reason, but it is bull a bullshit reason. Nurgle will not give up this ground so easily. Destroy that Bloomspawn now! Yeah, we're doing exactly that. Give me some time. Continuing to burn, fantastic. And over more actions. Because at the moment, uh, these grenades turn out to be like super effective uh, sources of damage. Yeah. Who's next, brothers? Four strike, okay. Good, that gives us the seat Another we've been looking for and yeah. This is finishing it. Just some bonus experience before this thing dies. Not well done, Commander. The plague god will rage at our victory today. Well destroyed, Commander. It's okay. It, it was an okay victory. The grenades certainly came in very, very, very nice. Specifically that first encounter where I threw that holy hand grenade and I think the entire room just lit up and disappeared. Twenty-seven seats. We're taking the librarian. Finally, the last puzzle piece of our uh, campaign. Then we got uh, traitors due. Five damage. Uh, quite good range. And three additional crit damage. Hmm. 
I mean, it's not a bad weapon. What else do we have? We do have Disruptor Skull. Oh, that's the upgraded version? Yeah, that's the upgraded version. Six points of damage. Uh, okay, that's a must-have. That's such a good score. I mean, I already liked version 1, but imagine version 3 with... Um, yeah, just imagine version 3. And then we got a level 3 weapon here, Pale. 6 damage is good. Activate to convert your melee attack into a blast. Ooh. That's not bad either. It's a six damage uh, auto blast, uh, auto melee blast version. Do I like that? We do have, I, I figure we do have a lot of really good melee weapons. I think we need a few more storm bolters. We need a few more storm bolters. Fantastic, that's, that's what you want to see, right? Great experience. So our uh, Justicar will take Psy Cannons and has Rapid Reload but before they have Rapid Reload they have more crit damage this here would uh, give him one more level in the current state and I think we're going to take that his Porter is good enough for now Auto reload just adds a bit of icing on the cake. This purchaser um, does have a very, very, very uh, strong uh, psi cannon. Which, by the way, I think the psi cannons I um, slapped a little bit on them. They are really good. Return fire, maybe. I think I wanted to go into astral aim. We are not using the willpower enough at the moment. And astral aim is a great dump for willpower. Very good. Our other purchasers, your chance. gets the mental focus which is so so good and that allows for two times um, autos to trigger and we need to get up here more uh, ammo and then most certainly support fire At the moment he's more the grenade uh, type, and that's totally fine. But there's more to the equation than just grenades. We got support fire. We're moving towards that extra equipment slot with Ubuntu, and then we're going to go up to Psychic Suppression. Having a higher Aegis is good because he does have the staff at the moment uh, that from time to time gives him extra uh, free Aegis and that makes him more tanky in a nutshell. I think uh, it was Ubuntu with no. the armor? No, it was... Our purifier, Wespinator, I think, had the armor. Yes, the one that needed upgrades. Extra passive slot. Thank you.
and into that additional equipment slot we can now go for extra crit that would be nice substantially more willpower which is not necessarily needed I think we're just going to put crit attacks in there got the extractor skull that is fine I like the idea of a disruptor skull and and uh, who would take that uh, it's likely going to be our tank right Epi currently has grenades. Grenades are good as well. I like grenades, man. They were so good. On the other hand, the Disruptor School is six points uh, of damage. This weapon here is nice. High range, good crit. That's a good weapon. Yeah, we still we still need a little bit more of uh, these armor upgrades but I will focus on the like level 3 armors resistance can spend more war points this here is a good one like the extra uh, grenades the, the question is the grenades have such a huge blast area and it is seven points of damage to so many targets and you have three of uh, them i mean that's it's difficult to argue that that is not a great option for the type of team that we're running on the other hand this here is a nice armor as well with uh, way more tank uh, tank ability and the ability to spend will points once you're out like this is a ph phenomenal armor um it's absolutely great however it's maybe not so great for the type of team that we're running because we're running a range team and we need to remove um, cover my problem is that we don't have enough slots for the uh, for the servit uh, servitors because i need an extract servitor i find it very useful to have a halo servitor uh, just because a mimic beacon uh, is very very strong the disruptor one is great don't get me wrong it is absolutely good because multiple uses six points of damage uh, ignores armor it's just a very very nice way of uh, killing of enemies the frag grenades however are good as well so i feel a bit torn let me just double check something right so if we're going for that disruptors go that's even four charges man how can i say no to that i think i cannot not with a good conscience which also brings us to the question of <clears throat> what type of armor do you want to wear 50 percent resistance great this here is potentially the best armor that we do have so might as well use that it's just so many hit points resistances on top of that <clears throat> immunity to knockback is super good but the penitent is the real kicker of this armor because effectively means we don't need the sacred incense and could take something else in that equipment slot we could take eight hit points which would be resulting in more in more overall 
uh, hit points but on the other hand with a sacred incense we're not taking damage um, as much so that's not bad either cool and we got a librarian finally Ceridian. who has skilled into the psi bowl discipline well i guess that <clears throat> will mean we're going to run a psi bolter um, psi bolter with him i have no problems with that i think it's a fun little experiment because armor bypass plus three crit on a psi bolter and giving him like a long range high crit psi bolter uh, plus uh, the no damage fall off uh, would be good i'm thinking about uh, then maybe equipping him with a staff that uh, will oftentimes just give him Aegis and uh, down here well you don't need a staff uh, let's think about that uh, you don't need a, a staff well the staff gives uh, gives you more um, uh, willpower but essentially what we could do since we're anyways here is get that sanctuary uh, that way we do have an area three armor for one turn and a good chance uh, that we are, are um, that we're creating armor ourselves I nonetheless will take uh, the single uh, target teleport because uh, that's fine group teleport for him in this build is banned Mainly because I don't want uh, the same shenanigans. It's just too strong of a skill. But what we could do is we could play around with this first. That warp suppression might be interesting as well. So we're just taking all of the skills that we didn't have beforehand with our other librarian. And just see how it uh, works really. Uh, I think that the Psybolt Discipline might be an interesting one for him. If you look at uh, weapons such as this one here, comes in with 5, 8 points of damage, then 3 on top, so that's 11 points of damage. And that is not bad at all. Other option here, <coughs> potentially even better, is this bolter which has the build in plus 50 percent crit on psi bolts that you anyways want uh, then the precision targeting uh, auto crit uh, in there and that's a little bit less damage but the precision targeting oftentimes makes up for it and 50 percent um, ranged attack crit is Massive, so I can definitely see how we're going to uh, use him. Now we flew all the way up to here. Unfortunately, we're missing uh, this event. Can we still get here? I think the answer is no. We had multiple spreader events. multiple spreader events as well so yeah without the prognostic Rs Commander, the warp storm anomaly we detected earlier seems to have proceeded however a dramatic explosion of bloom activity has appeared in its wake nice so we got five 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 we got three five star systems so really the only correct and a five star there the only correct choice is to fly to here and do the gate missions that are inevitably going to come bloom is overrunning us at this point Good. This uh, thing needs to be taken care of. 
and this thing needs to be taken care of so we're definitely going to go here first I'm not sure if we can reach this in time but this is another spreader event and I don't want multiple systems to reach critical mass Good. Got some Terminator armor. That might be interesting. Servitors are always good. We can automatically win this here. And we're back to seven. So a nice little armor will be good. Unable to reach in time. I figured. So this will be a gate. That will be a gateway. In terms of just chip status, now we're still trying to get uh, t uh, the ship uh, fully up and uh, running. Then afterwards, we're repairing that because the Ojorium is too important to not uh, do that. Uh, the Liberus uh, Malleus we don't need to repair right now. We're researching fast enough, anyways. I much rather would like to install void shields uh, for one more hull integrity and that will get us through potential uh, potential fight yeah, and those uh, this is also nice but uh, a luxury that we cannot afford at this point plus it seems that most most of our experience is actually okay um, uh, Maybe people are typically losing more uh, mm, Grey Knights, but we got like two, four, six, eight, nine Grey Knights at level nine. That is two and a quarter landing teams full of Grey Knights that are at maximum level. And it also doesn't feel that our current team, although the current team is by no means like an optimal or as strong as the other team, but it doesn't feel like our current team is is really having massive problems. Um, here we are supposed to kill the bloom spawn spreader, which is yet again a difficult mission. Uh, so we'll need to see how we're going to go about it. As a preparation, I think uh, since we do not have high sanctuary, these, these three were fine. We needed gate of infinity just to be a bit uh, uh, faster. Tides of Shadows not necessarily needed as much, so we, what we could do is give everybody willpower. Uh, we could go with Precision Bombardment, uh, that would be interesting. We could go with Strength of the Spirit, which is not bad. Do we have a lot of ranged? Yeah, well, we do have uh, two characters that do have ranged crit extra damage. So I suppose, yes, that could work, but it is by no means as great as in, in the other uh, options. This here is just six damage. Um, Will uh, to action points. Uh, what we could do is everybody uh, recovers three will points. Seems legit, but we don't really have a lot of will point problems in this team. Uh, search prevention. I actually don't think that the searches are such a big uh, deal. What I like here is the resistance that we that we do get from it. It just makes us immune against a lot of shenanigans. The healing is fine. We're never really, we were never really that low on anyone. Uh, so this is not bad. This is not bad. I can, I could definitely see ourselves in this. High Sanctuary isn't bad either because it effectively uh, is, works like a heal, but in a, in a different fashion. Uh, 
I mean, we could do something like that and just go in and give everybody three armor instead of the purification. But I think we're okay. Those uh, three have been true and try tested. What I will say though is we wanted, since this is a test playthrough, we wanted to see a couple of the other stuff. So what have, uh, what are the ones that we haven't seen? Quicksilver we have seen heal. Um, oh, it's kind of very much the same. We have seen heal one. Uh, we could do willpower, but this team doesn't really require as much of it. Um, we have seen torpor. Not the biggest fan of it. Um, mainly because it doesn't impact the non-revealed um, enemies. High Sanctuary, we've seen a lot of it. Dominate, cool, but very situational. We have not seen Bloom Excision. Targets a blast, uh, purchase, flick the targets, lose all, um, lose all of their mutations in a rather large... Here's the deal. Mutations aren't really that much of a problem. Uh, the game offers that whole perch mechanic and it's all fuzzy about it, but it really doesn't do all that much. Precision Bombardment we have not seen. Would like to see that. Reduce Warp Surge. Uh, I, I mean, I know what it does. Is it good? I guess it's anybody's guess. Uh, we have not seen Mass Purification so far. Uh, which is an interesting one because it's kind of a double uh, double whammy. It heals for two, everybody is purified. And that in itself is nice. It's kind of a double whammy because it's the weaker version of heal. And uh, it has elements of tides of shadow in there. So I can see that you could use this one here uh, for both purposes or so a little bit of mass heal and a little bit of just get rid of uh, afflictions this one we have seen a lot of times at obnoxian uh, tides of shadow it's okay it's good it's not it's not okay it's good and righteous endurance i think isn't great we're going to use precision bombardment just for shits and giggles because that's the only thing that we haven't really seen and maybe it's good uh, who knows i mean we could use it deals a little bit of extra damage uh, area seems uh, reasonably large so it makes up for uh, the uh, lack of grenades uh, that uh, um, epithelius uh, now has other than that, I think that our knights are doing very well for themselves. Could have upgraded his melee weapon. Ah, it was a miss. But we're going to get more seats. In terms of his armor, nothing to upgrade. Let's just double check. Psy cannon fully upgraded, armor fully upgraded, very good. Silencer fully upgraded, armor upgraded. Armor. Yeah, level one armor I wouldn't fully upgrade. We still got like level three armor that uh, is fully upgraded. And this armor here just looks way better in many regards. Focus, more willpower, more resistance, overall a better armor. And if we can upgrade that in the future, that would be good. Good, we do have a lot of yellow seeds here, so we definitely want to extract that. What's happening the next time? Necrosos. 
Necrosis. Cool. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more Warhammer 40k, uh, leave a comment and a like down below. And then uh, praise the Emperor in the meantime uh, with honoring the like button. Take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.